prophets were sent to mankind throughout history at different times and different corners of the world. They were tasked by God to guide humanity to the straight path by conveying his message. Surprisingly, they shared many similarities in their traits of prophethood. From Adam to Muhammad, they are bound to scriptures like brothers in faith. We will break down those similarities according to the Old Testament, Torah, the New Testament, Gospel, and the Final Testament, Quran. He of law has revealed to you the book, Quran in Truth, confirming what came before it as he revealed the Torah and the Gospel. Despite being at different times and places, it is an undeniable fact that each of these prophets carried the same message. They called for monotheism, as mentioned in these scriptures, the worship of one God. Prophets were given miraculous abilities by God's permission as a proof of their prophethood. These miracles were breaking the boundaries and trends of their respective times. In the time of Moses السلام, the people of Pharaoh had mastered the dark arts of magic, which the world now acknowledged through the discoveries of artifacts from ancient Egypt. Therefore, the miracle of Moses was to defeat the top magicians of Egypt, when his staff miraculously turned into a gigantic snake and also splitting the Red Sea to defeat the Pharaoh by God's command. No doubt that both Bible and Quran acknowledge Moses as a great prophet. In the time of Jesus السلام, the Romans had mastered the art of medicine. From the development of surgical equipment to the vast encyclopedia of medicinal plants, these achievements were divinely attributed to Asclepius, their god of medicine. His symbol of a snake on a rod is still used today to symbolize medicine. This is why God sent his prophet Jesus with miracles closely related to medicine. As he was born miraculously without any male intervention, he heals the blind and raised the dead. These miracles were performed to show that Jesus was a true prophet, as mentioned by the blind man and many others who saw his signs. In the time of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the people of Mecca were proudly eloquent in linguistics and poetry. So, God revealed the Quran which is rich in linguistic eloquence that stumped the poets of that time. These occurred despite the Prophet being known as an Ummi who did not know how to read and write. This Prophet was also mentioned in various verses in previous scriptures. Unlike miracles of the past, they can only be witnessed by those who were present at the time. Quran is the only living miracle that remained in existence, unchanged, and these miracles witnessed until today. Scientific, linguistic, and historical miracles of the Quran are some of the topics studied by scholars around the world. Quran is also the only scripture guaranteed by Almighty God to be divinely preserved. This can be clearly proven when comparing the Quranic manuscripts from the time of the Prophet and the Quran of today. It also cannot be changed as it is the only scripture memorized by millions of Muslims around the world. Despite having performed miracles, all the prophets, including Jesus, never asked to be worshipped or even praised as God. In Mark 10, 18, Jesus called it a man for calling him good, because only God is good. According to the Quran, on Judgment Day, God will ask Jesus 
if he ever asks anyone to worship him or his mother. Jesus will deny this claim and it will be witnessed by all. Prophet Muhammad also warned the Muslims, do not exaggerate in praising him as the Christians did with Jesus, the son of Mary. Interestingly, all prophets prayed and they do so in a specific posture of bowing and prostrating to God. Moses bowed and worshipped in the Old Testament. So does Jesus when he prayed to God in the New Testament. Quran mentioned that Allah will bestow his grace to those who bow down and prostrate like the prophets of the past. This act indicates their willingness to submit, putting themselves in a humble position to a higher power. The prophets are all bound and unified by a shared commitment to worship and serve one God. As Prophet Muhammad said in his narration, Prophets are brothers in faith, having different mothers. Their religion is, however, one.